back with us on the conversation final segment with Karen Cross. Let's get right to it, Karen. You've been expelled by the party, the party said in a statement to the media uh, last week. Mm -hmm. You say, I'm not expelled. Explain. I am still a member of the People's National Party. Um, there is um, a procedure in the party to be followed to expel a member. I can't recall the last time I remember being expelled, uh, so I'm making history again. Mm -hmm. But um, there is a matter before the disciplinary committee, as, as far as I am concerned. And um, I have not heard from the disciplinary committee. Um, mm -hmm. The party issued this one-line thing on Monday night to say that they have expelled me. But the process wasn't followed, so I'm not expelled. But then this afternoon, I saw a letter from the party chairman, acting chairman, Horace Daly, that came in um, yesterday at three, but I'm not a great email fan, so yes. I really just saw it um, today. Yes. Um, in, in, in about, about 10 or 11 o'clock, I saw it, where they listed um, three things about um, the expulsion and talk about um, the, the, uh, the disciplinary committee cited some 30 um, um, breaches? Breaches. On your part? No, my part. Dating back when? So they, I have no idea. Mm. It's, it's just a, a vague thing. But I just want to make it clear that the party executive has absolutely no power to expel anyone at all. So, um, you're, so you're saying the disciplinary measures uh, outlined in the party's constitution under the headline? Not, they did they not, not outline what the, infringes, what the infringements are. Yes. They just say they have listed, the disciplinary committee have listed 30. Yes. So even though they have communicated with me now to a letter after first communicating with the media yes. on Monday night, it still is, is left to be desired. I am, I'm, a very, I'm very ashamed at what the PMP has become. Mm. Because um, the PMP is usually a party where no matter what, we act and behave decently yeah. and within the confines of the Constitution. But, but hear me though, mm. you, you, you say due process wasn't followed, but no. some people will say you didn't contribute to due process being followed because mm. it is that you were summoned to appear before the disciplinary committee at one point and you refused to show. I did go. You, you went? Of course. Oh. I went to the disciplinary committee. And what happened? And present at the disciplinary committee were two of the three members, Comrade Ichman and Comrade Stacey Knight. Mm -hmm. So we sat there waiting 40 minutes for, Je for Zuleka Jess to show up. And when they showed up, I gave them my first complaint to the party, mm -hmm. which I gave to Comrade John Jr. on March 7th, Yes. Um, which the, the, the world hadn't seen then. Yes. So I handed it to them in our file and tell them, well, no one can start to investigate the real thing. And, and this then, involved the, the general secretary, Dr. Campbell? Yes, it does. Right, good. And uh, so when they called that disciplinary committee meeting, um, I thought to myself that this disciplinary committee is not fully equipped, equipped with what needs to be done and what, how they need to start the investigation. So I presented them with my complaint. I made a complaint, a private complaint mm -hmm. to the party through Comrade John Jr., mm -hmm. chairman of the disciplinary committee. Mm -hmm. I made that complaint on March 7th. He got it. He and I had a conversation on the phone about it, a very lengthy conversation, after which he said he would be in touch with me. Mm -hmm. Having not heard from him in about five or so days, I contacted him, and he said they haven't looked at it yet. And then 11 days later, I wrote to the executive of the party, and I sent them that letter that now the world knows yes. and, and I've seen about. Um, um, I lighten to them what my complaints are about um, Dayton Campbell. Yes. And um, so that was the first two process. I never got a response. Of course, I could understand the, the non-response of the letter to the executive because that was a wider body of people. I didn't put it on social media. Yes. I never placed on social media at all. But I could understand that. But had I got a, a simple um, uh, response from Comrade Junior or the party chairman, Comrade Paul at the time, or uh, I would imagine back in the day when PMP was PMP, yes. a complaint like that wouldn't reach the party leader yet. Yes. Party leader is above those things, so you keep him out of the loop of yes. those things. But I expected a response. Naive of me, I expected, let me tell you what I expected. 
I expected Comrade Junior is going to call me back in a couple of days, and he's going to say to me, Karen, all right, so we'll get this thing and I discuss it with a few people. We we'll want to meet with you, and we need for you to come bring some evidence, come show yes. me. That was my expectation. Yes, but that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Yes. Is there any meeting of the disciplinary committee that you failed to attend after being notified that your presence was required? No. There, there was one time I was notified, and that was the one meeting. Yes. And I went. Yes. Where I, but I didn't stay for any interview. Right. So, so I just gave them the thing and left. So, so but I was there for 40 minutes. So, so again, mm. the, the claim that Karen Cross failed to appear before the disciplinary committee as directed, that claim is not true. It's a lie. Mm. It's a blatant, outright lie. Yes. Never happened. Yes. The disciplinary committee, after I left, um, and I'm just um, operating here in terms of what I heard. Yes. Non factual. Yes. That they were going to meet. Yes. And um, my, once again, my expectation is that they are going to meet. They are going to outline a number of things that I did and I said. And then they are going to write to me and say to me, we looked at your complaint about um, Dr. Campbell, and we looked at our thing that we have yes. against you. We'd like to sit down with you yeah. now and look at that. But failing to look at my complaint mm -hmm. against Dayton Campbell um, does not give you the right to start judging me yes. about what I said yes. because I gave you that first complaint. Yes. So, so, so hear me then. So with that, being, being, with that as it is, mm -hmm. the court, mm -hmm. there's a matter in court mm -hmm. that you, a judgment was, was issued against you in the amount of $750,000, correct? That's not a judgment of the court. No, no, no. You, for contempt of court. Contempt right. of so court. Right, so the court ruled Absolutely. you in contempt. Absolutely. Right. So hold on now. Yeah. So hold on now. Mm -hmm. So someone sitting and watching you from the whole of the interview start, from the time the interview start and saying, well, this woman seems to be speaking the truth. How do, you, how do they reconcile what you have said and how you present yourself with the fact that Karen Cross, who admits she's not wealthy, and based on what I know, I, I don't know you to be a wealthy woman. No. You caused yourself to have to pay $750,000 mm -hmm. for refusing a judge's order to come to court? Why didn't you go to court? You know, I wish I could talk about the whole thing, mm. about lead. No, it's not coming to court, you know. Yeah. It was not, the judgment, let me correct you, the judgment yeah. was not going to court. It was yeah. contempt by not, by not following the judge's order. To not to, to, not to post on, and to post ah. on social media. There you go, yeah. right, right. Well, well, so, 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 right. That, I felt that was a, 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 a breach Do you have my, social uh, media accounts? I do. And have you posted anything you were ordered by a court not to post? But prior to the, the, the contempt of court no, no, order? No, no. After you were instructed by the judge mm -hmm. not to post certain things on social media, mm -hmm. did you ever do that? Of course I did. Every day. Several so you, so, times a day. So you were in contempt? Of course. So of you, course were, I was. You, you were directly contemptuous of court? I was Deliberately? Not, I was not about to, um, to stop. The world had a right to know. The Jamaican people have a right mm. to know mm. what I'm saying. Yes. And um, since I was denied the opportunity to have a private conversation yes. with the party you know, about a public it, conversation with Jamaica. to have a public conversation with Jamaica. So, 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 so for those who say, Karen, that look, you knowing the PNP so well, mm -hmm. you could have gone to more lengths mm -hmm. to have your hearing within the party you have weakened the party by your public displays mm -hmm. you have embarrassed the party you have embarrassed your party leader you have caused damage to dr campbell's reputation mm -hmm. you are bad for the party people say that how do you respond to that people have a right to say what they want to um, say but what is it i am a i am a i am a big proponent of freedom of speech people yes. must say what they want to say yes. i have no problem but is that the truth here, though if someone absolutely say, not true but how how is it not true yes People need to know that I sent that complaint to John Jr. John Jr. and Dayton Campbell and Peter Bunting decided that they don't want to hear anything from me. Well, that's, that's speculation on your uh, part. But, but how else would you explain why they no, don't No, no, no. But, but, hold on, hold on. but I'm going to get to why it's not speculation. But, no, I'm going to get to why it's not speculation. Get quickly, I'm going to yes. get to why yes, it's not speculation. Because I'm, I'm sure they didn't tell you that. No, no, no. I'm okay. going to get to why it's not speculation. Yes. Weeks after that, I started having conversation with the party chairman, Comrade Paulwell, and mm -hmm. it's the first time publicly I'm saying all of this. Yes. And each time I have a conversation with him about the whole matter, I said to him, well, Comrade Chairman, 
I am willing to talk and for us to work this thing out. And um, he said that he would, um, you know, reach out and stuff. He never said it to me at no time at all, but I surmised and concluded that what he got was a resounding no. But other people told me that they say Peter Bunting, Mark Golden, that I'm not speaking but, to but, me. But Karen, you know more than, <laughs> listen, you've been around for a long time. You're a smart woman. You know that you can't use that and then say that Juna Bunting and, 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 and whomever else yeah. conspired to block or to say no. So they did. That's what you feel. Oh, no, they did. But you feel that They way. did. You feel that No, way. they did. They did. Mm. They said it to many people. But did they, they say it to you? No, of course I'm not talking to you. Then, well, then, if, if you're not talking to me, you're going to say it then, to me. Then, Karen. If you're not talking to me, then, you're going to say it to me. All right, I hear they you. They did. I hear you. They said it. They do not want to talk to me. They have nothing to do with me. I hear you. And after that, many people. Yes. All right, I'll give you facts now. Many people that talk to me on a daily basis. One person said to me, listen, man. Person I respected. High, high respect for this person. Listen to me, man. Um, this can't continue. I'm going to reach out to somebody. And he did. Yes. And they told him that, boy, it's too late now. Is this a former prime minister? I will not say. Yes. Um, boy, it's too late now. No, 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 no. We're not reach out. There's no turning back now. Yes. It's too late. That's what they, yes. they told him. And several other persons. Ha, ha, have, you, have you been expelled by the party? No, I have not. Have you been expelled by the party because of your criticism of Mark Golding and what appears to be your campaign against Dr. Campbell? Do you believe that that's why they did what they did with of that Of course they did. They came out to that bogus thing because of that. And it is a, it's a blatant abuse of power because everything that I've said on social media... How will you fight it? Uh, well, I'm finish the man. Everything we're, we're that time, I have said why. on social media... Yes. Um, about Mark Golden and Dayton Camden and the rest of it is absolute truth. Well, that, that's according to you. Mm -hmm. That's according to you. <laughs> what will you do to fight the statement by the PNP saying that you've been expelled? How do, how do you plan to fight it? Uh, is the right of appeal that you have? You have to just wait for that. I have, I have to just wait yeah, for that. Yeah, you have right, to right. just wait for that. So, so you, you're, you're standing by what you said about them on social media? Absolutely. Right, and that's mm. you, you are standing by them. Not changing I, yeah, the, no. I, I, Absolutely hear, true. I, I hear you on that. Yeah. I hear you on that. Yeah. I can't verify whether yeah, it's true. Yeah, but I don't change my mind about that's it. That's you. Yeah, Good. Yeah. So, is it accurate to say, Karen Cross, that at this time you are friendless and unloved within the... The, 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 the halls of leadership in the party that you've given so much of your life to? If you're referring to Dayton Canberra, Mark Golden, and Peter Bunting, yes. But if you're re referring to the general PMP, yes. oh no, I'm loved by PMP. Yes. And PMP you'll love me. You, you'll continue to agitate for what? For, for the PNP, for a change of leadership, for what? I will continue to agitate for Mark Golden to resign, for Dayton Canberra to resign. For Peter Bunting to be kicked out of the PMP. No one resignation from him because he's the sole reason why we are at this part where we are now. And I will continue to agitate for authentic PMP people to have a voice and to speak freely without any kind of censorship. And if the party under the leadership of these guys want to actually show that they mean any good and they are truthful and honest and can be trusted about leading PMP and uniting PMP, then it's their move. Comrade Cross, thank you for your time. All the best to you. You're most welcome, brother. There you go. All right, it that's, it. that's it for the conversation. I'm glad you enjoyed it. That's it for the conversation this week. Join us next week for another engaging episode. Sit in, please.